नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज एडब्ल्यू एस एडब्ल्यू एस शेयर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी मॉडल सो शेयर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी मॉडल वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वेन यू डिप्लॉय समथिंग इन क्लाउड इट इज जस्ट नॉट दैट योर सिक्योरिटी इट इज ऑल्सो अबाउट क्लाउड सिक्योरिटी सो इट इज स्लाइटली डिफरेंट दैन द सिक्योरिटी ऑफ ऑन प्रीमिज दैट मीन्स नॉर्मली द वे वी हैंडल सिक्योरिटी एस्पेक्ट इन ऑन प्रीमिज क्लाउड सिक्योरिटी इज डिफरेंट so there are a lot of uh, other factors involved that that's why the shared responsibility model is important okay so security on security in the cloud versus on premises security data sec, data centers so on premises means you will manage all aspects of the security that means if you have usual uh, infrastructure in your campus then you will be handling that thing of your own whereas in cloud security responsibilities are shared between you and aws because it's a cloud security some security will be handled by the aws itself some security will be handled by you you have to assign maximum security will be handled by you only you have to assign how the subnet will perform you have to assign what are the security you want everything you have to decide okay so securing under so aws main responsibility is underlying infrastructure that supports the cloud that is aws responsibility let's, let's say the main data centers and the regions where the aws establishment is there if any faults happen there that is aws responsibility whereas your responsibility is to secure in anything that put on the cloud or connect to the cloud okay that's why it is called shared responsibility model some security you will be doing customer will do some security will be done by the aws so uh, what is the advantage advantage is that operational burden reduction okay most of the thing you can decide and it will improve the secu overall security postures so it looks like this so as a architect amazon architect you have to aws architect you have to decide whom to give what kind of responsibility so this is the responsibility of this iam okay so that is also customer responsibility not aws will come and tell you you decide this and that so there will be specialized person for that who is handling the whole uh, aws architecture and all in your company okay this is the second is that host operating system you might be having some operating system running on your site just call host operating system this what kind of host operating system you want and what will be the security on that that is customer responsibility networking also what type of networking what type of subnet you will be creating in last class we discussed about subnet assigning ip address and all this also responsibility of the customer that means the not aws responsibility customer responsibility only okay assigning network what type of network you want to create what type of private cloud you want to you want to create be using vpc virtual private cloud that is customer responsibility not aws responsibility second is firewall con uh, configuration so this network configuration also customer responsibility only how do you configure then firewall configuration this also customer responsibility so these are all customer side responsibilities okay so responsibility for security in the cloud so this whole thing here to here in fact from here to here is called in cloud in cloud only right yes outside of this is called off cloud off the cloud so this is in the cloud this is off the cloud very important what is off the cloud and what is in the whose whose responsibility is what so in off the cloud what happens anything related so off the cloud this is the aws responsibility that means anything related with the physical servers that is exactly placed in the amazon infrastructure uh, like region wise then uh, availability zone wise so those those all physical things like computation gpu cpu everything storage storage also there acha here uh, in terms of storage you have s3 right s3 bucket s3 bucket that we will be discussing later on which is called simple storage service s3 bucket how do you configure s3 storage bucket that is your responsibility customer is not amazon aws responsibility but whereas here in the physical side storage it is aws responsible anything happens on the storage side in the original data centers and all you are not responsible amazon is responsible that means aws is responsible 
similarly the data buses that aws uses that is their responsibility networking also same okay so hardware related physical 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 infrastructure wise anything security anything related with that it is uh, aws responsibility here you can see that network traffic protection this network this network traffic protection is use, uh, using usually two types of uh, layers which is called ssl and then tls ssl and tls layers it is using this network for security purpose ssl is called secure socket layer and tls is called what any idea friends tls is transport layer security okay transport layer security transport layer security this helps it is uh, helping a network uh, security so ssl so basically client server architecture what happened client send message to server that is the main communication way we have let's say this is client client and this is server so it sends ssl request ssl tsl request together it will go and then server will send him the so it could be web 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 related request anything okay and server will send it digital digital uh, certificates yes digital certificates it will send in response to that so this this whole thing happens using ssl secured socket layer and tsl transport layer service these two these two services are available in the presentation layer of the OSI architecture. You remember OSI architecture students? OSI architecture, sorry. OS, open system interconnection. So, so base was the physical layer and then top was the application layer. After that you have presentation layer, right? Here TSL and SSL resides here in presentation layer. Server side encryption. Server side encryption also here, server side encryption also customer responsibility also. Server side encryption. Okay. This happens using S3. S3. Okay. So many points I'm telling you, you are noting down, right? Server side encryption also customer responsibility only, not AWS responsibility. And then AWS responsibility you already come to know, which is directly related to the server physical things. Okay. There are other types of responsibility also, which is called inherited controls and customer control. Inherited control, that means, although it is Amazon responsibility only, but sometimes customer will inherit that. What type of the stuff there? Physical and environmental controls. These controls, basically AWS controls only, but customer will also inherit them and they will perform that, okay? Physical security of the data centers and environmental controls, these two actually called inherited inherited control okay initially they are original their aws services only but customer also can inherit, inherit them them okay like in inheritance we have no in c plus plus java object this is one thing inherited control important one the final one is shared control there will be some responsibilities which will be shared both by the aws as well as customers what are they so controls which apply both infrastructure layer, that means layer that is inbuilt in the physical side of the infrastructure and also in your side. So first is patch management. What is patch management? Patch management, any idea, friends? It can be a glitch in the software, it can be a glitch in the operating systems, in the network drivers, so small, small patches that happen. So this patch can happen both sides. It can happen to the Amazon AWS sites as well as customer sites. So they will be shared among themselves. Okay, this is called patch management. Clear friends? Shared control. Second is configuration management. AWS maintains the configuration of its infrastructure devices, but Customer is responsible for configuring their own guest operating system. So, guest operating system, everything will be configured by the uh, customer only. So, both are shared. And third one is the awareness and training, which is very important. Amazon will also give awareness, like Amazon Associate 
program is there directly among them people are training the um, people and then customers as a company will be implementing that like VIT they are also giving training and all so both side training will be there so Amazon train AWS <coughs> employees but the customer train their own employees so this is the base let, let me again uh, start from the basics concept is called shared responsibility model this is related with security mostly it is related with security how security will be shared in the cloud and off the cloud so first terminology is in the cloud in the cloud means customer whatever is doing off the cloud means outside of the cloud that amazon is responsible so in the cloud anything happens customer is responsible off the cloud anything happens amazon aws is responsible this is the first thing so this you have to know because how the responsibility is shared that you have to know so then this is the this is the structure it is divided into two parts first part is customer data anything related to customer like encryption decryption client side server side anything happens that is customer responsibility application identity and, identity and access management identity and access management the next topic which is called iam in cloud computing this is very basic because if you see uh, even in amazon tools if you open there are two options one is the root option and another one is iam option if you root option if you go means anything non, anything out of the scope happens your things will be destroyed, then nobody can save you. You have to contact Amazon, a lot of time will consume you, right? It is not in your hand. So that IAM actually assigns the roles. What will be the group leader role in the company? What will be the employee role in the company? What will be the lower level people's role? So all these role management things, it only decides, IAM. Then operating systems, host operating systems, and the network related firewall, anything happens in the client side, that means, uh, in the cloud, you are responsible, customer is responsible. Okay? Encryption, decryption, everything. TCL and P, what is the other one? SSL and TLS, these two terminologies are important. They help uh, this networking configuration and security maintenance. Then you come to the other part of the uh, shared responsibility, that is the AWS part, which is anything related with physical ha hardware related, I mean the uh, infrastructure responsibility goes to Amazon. Anything happens in the region side, anything happens in the availability zone side, AWS is responsible. You should not be bothered about that. This is the main thing. And there are some responsibilities which are inherited, like physical and environmental controls. And the last one is the shared control, which is the responsibility that are shared by both customer and Amazon both. Like training is one of them, patch management is one of them. If patch happens in server side, physical side, we are not bothered. If patch happens this side, we are bothered, right? because both are responsible for this, okay? So shared control. And then there are some customer specific controls. That is like controls which are solely the responsibility of the customer based on the application they are deploying within AWS service. Example, service and communication protection or zone security. That means